Hey guys, this is Blue Star for you. Today you're going to learn how to do a stretch tire look going from this standard tire to a stretch tire look like this. Whether you're trying to um, tuck your tires or rims underneath your body or you're looking for a rounded front tire, this is how you can do it. Okay, what you're going to need to achieve this look is a power drill with a wide mount so you can put our specialized bit inside there. You're going to need a some sort of file like this one will do. Um, a bit of scotch bright so you can buff up the tire once you're done. Give a nice finish. Here's my cat. And uh, one of the most important pieces that I have right here that you're going to need is a looks like an outdrive cup. You know, take out the dog bone and make sure you do use a aluminum wheel hub that has a clamp on it. So there's a screw right there. You can tighten it up so it's not going to wiggle once you put it onto the drill. Okay, now go ahead and put your specialized bit inside your drill, tighten it up, and uh, in my situation I push it all the way in. Um, that way I know that it will spin uh, evenly and won't wobble. You don't have any wobbles while you're doing it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the rim that I'm working on. Uh, this tire, I'm just trying to stretch out the, the outside part so I can fit underneath my 190 body. Uh, I like my Blue One Via body, and this is the only way I can really make it work with, while using a 6mm offset in the rear. I'm gonna place it right there. Okay, go ahead and lock it up. Okay, now this is the fun part. You're gonna power your drill with one hand, and with the other, you're gonna start shaping your tire on whichever side that you want to work on. I totally recommend doing this perhaps outside or in the garage. But since I'm working inside the house, I have a little box right here so I can catch all the shavings. But definitely try to do it outside so you don't have any of the, those particles floating around the house. And I'm going to attempt to demonstrate how I do this for you guys. Here we go, I'm going to power my drill. I'm going to sand. Um, looks like my battery's dying. Alright, let's see that. There we go. There we go, full, full blast. You'll find that it can be a slow process, but uh, just take your time so you do it right and you get a nice stretched look at the end. Uh, also what you can do as you're going on, you can use your reference, uh, your other tire that you've already done. Just keep it to the side where you can see it so you know you know that you're not going too far. And uh, you can stop periodically and take a look at that. So I'm going to put this over here. You don't want to force it as you're going on. Because if you do so, uh, because your hand pressure may not be completely equal as you go forward, it will actually give you divots on your tire as you're stretching. So it's better just to have a light touch and let it pretty much do itself. to take a look at my other tire and see what that one looks like okay so it does look like I, this one right here went a little bit further than I 
did on then on the other one. So actually let me look at it closer. They look pretty equal. So it just depends if uh if you got O C D and you want to make them exactly the same. But uh if you go further on one side, you know the obvious solution, just take off that one, put in the other and shape it down so they're both the same. So next up I'm going to use a, a little bit of scotch bright here and I'm just going to pretty much polish it. I'm just going to polish it. Now you can proceed to remove your bit from your tire, or rim rather. Okay, take it out. Remember, it's this thing we're using, and the tire is ready for mountage. And now they got the rims and tires mounted on the RWD Art Dirty Wern drift toaster. And I had a question before on how I mounted my stealth mounts on the front. Uh, using a long droop screw that's about yay big, you're going to go ahead and replace that screw that's inside there with that droop screw, and you're going to use your body post that you normally have in the front, and you place them in that position right there. It'll be in front of the, the center pulley rack, and you will go ahead and cut them shorter, and you can adjust them to the size that you need. So using this technique of stretching your tires, you can achieve maximum flushness and make almost any body work even if it's a 190 millimeter body that is way too narrow but uh, with this method you can make it work and see some flushness right there that is so flush right there Alright, if you found this video useful, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be posting up more videos for wheel drive drifting and other little tips and tricks.